Today I will be running this three-quarter water pump on the Buetti AC200P and I'm going to see how long it will last. If you've seen my last video, you've seen that how I hooked this up and it will run a, a water pump. I got it set up in my garage. Okay, I'm in the garage now and the Buetti is at 96%. Uh, it's been plugged into my three-fourths horsepower water pump for over an hour and 20 minutes and I'm running a number 14 wire extension cord to the pump and our household is just consuming water as normal on a typical day and this is just an experiment to see how long this Boletti will be able to run the pump. There's several factors that depends on how long it'll be able to run it. Depends on how often that pump will have to turn on and that depends on how many times commodes, flush, how many showers are taken. If you're running the, the dishwasher or washing clothes or any other normal things that you would use water for on a typical day. We have four individuals in our family, so it's going to be interesting to see how long this will hold up because I had that question before. So we're going to find out. Okay, uh, we're nearly 10 hours into the test. We're at 68%. We did laundry today, and so far the Buetti uh, has performed great. Looks like it's gonna be able to uh, get us through the night. There's one thing I did notice that it did throw a fault 20. And if you look at fault 20, it's inverter low voltage. And what causes that? is that the motor on the pump has a capacitor and that capacitor is to give momentum to the motor to get it started to run and that's where you would get some of the surge of current coming into that motor and when it does that you can get a momentary drop in the voltage and that's not an issue as far as I'm concerned I've even seen that whenever I had the pump hooked up to the grid in the house on 120 volts where the lights would momentarily flicker whenever the, uh, the pump would turn on. So that's just something that I wanted to point out. Uh, so far I don't see any problems with that. It kept right on running right after it threw that fault. It's just telling you um, that yeah the voltage did go low momentarily but it did not shut it down or anything. So we'll, we'll see and uh, see how the rest of the night goes. Okay, it's 11.50 p.m. It's at 45 percent. Battery temperature is 36 degrees Celsius, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, so everything's still looking good. I'll come back in the morning and check on it again. And uh, hopefully it'll last through the night. And I don't see any reason why it would not. So um, 
check back in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning now, and this Blue Eddy has been running the water pump for over 24 hours, and it's at 18%. This experiment proves that uh, in an emergency, this can run someone's uh, water pump if the power goes out. And the whole, during this whole experiment, uh, there was no panels or electric brick plugged into this Boetti. It was strictly the battery inside this solar generator that was powering the pump. And uh, yeah, if you're out there in the wilderness someplace or if you are uh, off the grid, you can have solar panels hooked up to this. And if I was in that scenario, I would probably over panel it to account for cloudy days, but that way you could uh, be assured that uh, your water pump would be working all the time and that you would have power for it. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, put the pump, connect the pump back to the, the grid because it's getting cloudy right now. So the rain's coming. But yeah. yeah, if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up and I'll talk with you later.